Hi folks, uh, welcome to my blog again. This is my video where we talk about uh, how to do our ABC analysis. Uh, let's follow the five steps. So everybody do ABC analysis in supply chain. They have their own ways. Today we'll talk about the logic I've used. So my logic is depending on two principles. The first is the famous 80-20 rule or the Pareto principle. The second one is taking into consideration value, volume, and frequency of sales. Generally, I have seen people using either volume, which is quantity, and value of sales. In my logic, I have incorporated frequency, which is number of lines. So let's follow the five steps. The first step is to just to download your last 12 months sales data. Simple, this shows your part number, quantity, uh, value of the line which is how much dollars and pounds you have made and number of one number of times you have sold any part right simple as that once you got this the second step is to list them down the SKUs uh, for, for the quantity of what you have sold from highest to lowest for example if you go to part numbers a b and c d e f just list them down in terms of the sum of cumulative sales right once you do that, mark the items which it falls into top 80% of the quantity you have sold as one for the tally purposes. Next step, the, the, the third step, is to do the same thing. Uh, list down your uh, number of SKUs based on the value of sales, which is from uh, higher selling items to the, so, uh, the lowest selling items, which in terms of sum of the value of sales, again, items which falls into top 80% of value of sales, mark them as one for tally purposes. The fourth step, very similarly, is to list the, the, the same item numbers from the frequency of sales from highest to lowest. So the item which you have sold most should be on the top and the item which you have sold least should be at the bottom. And again, the item which falls into 80% of the frequency of sales should be uh, identified as one for the tele purposes. The final and the most, Im most important step, the fifth, st fifth step, is to uh, we look up all the three pivot tables you have done into a spreadsheet which shows the item number and maybe a description and the quantity you have sold, the frequency you have sold and the value you have sold. And the part numbers which are which, which falls into top 80% of value of sales, volume of sales, and the frequency of sales should be marked as three. The part numbers which falls into two of the three categories, which could be value or frequency, or the volume or the value should be undefined as two. The part numbers which falls into one of the three categories, which is either value, volume, or frequency should be marked as three. And there will be a lot of part numbers which doesn't fall into any of them. So. The part numbers which falls into all three of them should be your A class item because they are the one which is you sell the most, you sell with the highest values and, and you sell with the, with the highest quantities. The item which falls into the two of the three categories should be identified as B which marked as sum of two and the item numbers which falls into one of the three categories should be marked as three. All right, that's a brief description, simple as that. I have written a blog which you can click on this card on the left hand side and have a look and follow the process, right? So this is one very simple way of doing it. But generally it takes me seven to seven to eight hours to download the data, do the pivot table, you know, verify uh, all the item numbers. But I'm a lazy person like these guys, right? So what I have done is to create, a, convert this logic into a simple algorithm and I've created a tool where you just you know go uh, sign up with your email just upload the simple spreadsheet with your item number quantity and value and just upload the file i have written an algorithm and it will take 30 seconds and you will get your abc analysis simple as that so go to my blog click on tools click on abc analysis and you're up and running right hope you find my blog useful hope you find the tool useful please do leave the feedback about the tool and the blog in the in the comments box on this video I hope you like what we're doing and hope uh, you subscribe to my blog uh, and you most importantly you subscribe to my channels for the future video. Talk to you soon. Thank you. Take care. Bye.